Welcome back and thank you very much for your time. The Daily Graphic this morning says the Daily Graphic formidable development partner, Dr. Lecha, declares at Volta Regional Spotlight launch, CSM kills 18 in Upper West. Boom, landfill site poses danger to residents. Nation confronts COVID-19 head on. Public gatherings, cancel schools, close down. Stories on page three of the Daily Graphic. On a back page, Olympics, Pip, Liberty and Midyama Wafa win away matches. The final newspaper, travel restrictions tightened as COVID-19 cases rise to 66. Maritime Authority re removes 10,000 tree stumps on 30-kilometer Dambai, Injare, uh, Tumpunja, Kodoko, uh, Kudokope crossings, I beg your pardon. GES directs all schools to suspend all public activities and frontline healthcare workers of COVID-19 to get incentives. Daily Guide. Teacher rapist sacked. Coronavirus catches six. Legal students positive. Uh, government restricts travels. Robber cop jailed 40 years. Three die in teacher Mante accident. And the Ghanaian Times this morning reports that the government advises visitors against travel uh, to Ghana. Boom. Youth threaten demo against overage uh, landfill site. Urges government to shut it down. Coronavirus update. Ghana braces to combat COVID-19 as the Ghana Health Service announces four more new confirmed cases. Four perished, 21 injured in two separate accidents near Tichamante. Yesterday, the President of the Republic addressed the state and would like to listen to the President briefly. When we return, we will introduce our guest to you and then we'll make progress from there. In the interest of public safety and the protection of our population, to review the public gathering advisories early announced as follows. Firstly, all public gatherings, including conferences, workshops, funerals, festivals, political rallies, sporting events, and religious events such as services in churches and mosques have been suspended for the next four weeks. Private burials are permitted but with limited numbers, not exceeding 25 in attendance. Secondly, all universities, senior high schools, and basic schools, i.e. public and private schools, will be closed Monday, 16th of March, 2020, till further notice. The Minister of Education, in collaboration with the Minister of Communication, has been tasked to roll out distance learning programs. However, BECE and WASI candidates will be allowed to attend school to prepare for their examinations, but with the prescribed social distancing protocols. Thirdly, the government of Ghana's travel advisory issued earlier today should be observed as announced. Fourthly, Businesses and other workplaces can continue to operate, but should observe prescribed social distancing between patrons and staff. Fifthly, establishments such as supermarkets, shopping malls, restaurants, nightclubs, hotels and drinking spots should observe enhanced hygiene procedures by providing, amongst others, hand sanitizers, running water and soap, for washing of hands. Sixthly, the Minister of Transport should work with the transport unions and private and public transport operators to ensure enhanced hygienic conditions in all vehicles and terminals by providing, amongst others, hand sanitizers, running water, and soap for washing of hands. Welcome back, and um, my guests have joined me. Kujo Chumbwa is a former boss at the Free Zones uh, Board, and he's, he's here. He's, he's on ticket of the NDC. Also, Dr. Bernard Okuboy is uh, the board chairman for Kolebu Teaching Hospital. He's also the MP for Lejo Kuku. These days, it's important that you mention a constituency, for, lastly, so that it sticks in the mind of the people. Gentlemen, welcome. Good morning. Good morning. It's a corona-free corona uh, 
Yes, doc. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? Yeah, well, it's good, I'm fine. Yesterday, the president broke <clears throat> many hearts, but it was for good reason. And the assurance out there is that we will all have to stay safe. But are these measures enough to protect all of us, Dr. Boy? Yeah, um, let me say a very good morning to all your viewers and um, to um, greet my senior brother, Kujo Chumbo. Johnny, um, the first thing I'll say is that, um, well, it's in one breath, it is news that is not to, we wish we hadn't had. <coughs> And on another breath, the the I would use the word refreshing, but what I am a little bit pleased about is that these are vertical transmissions, meaning they are coming from outside mm. source into mm. Ghana. Mm. Usually when you start to have horizontal, that's from one person to the other. Okay, internally. Internally. Mm. That is uh, not palatable like having a vertical. Because a vertical, uh, there's a limit to which you can control it, but mm. you have a hold on the horizontal. Mm. Mm. And... You know, any public health emergency, mm. like Corona, Ebola, MERS, SARS, mm. you have a cycle which all the stakeholders are sitting by on a regular basis. Mm. The first one is that you do an assessment mm -hmm. of what you have currently. And based on assessment, you determine your interventions or policies. Okay. Exactly. But as things change, mm -hmm. you can amend them. In fact, what you do is that you have the intervention, you do quality assurance mm -hmm. to see whether what you've asked that happens is actually what is happening. And then you mm -hmm. do monitoring and all that. Um, when we had the first, we had the first case, mm -hmm. we know it was a, a diplomat who came in and all that. Right. But what we've realized is that we've had certain people also come from other countries. Okay. Four and it, yes, and so it tested six. positive. And it's also important to let the public know that when someone tests positive for a virus, it doesn't mean clinically they are that sick or unwell. Mm. In fact, you can test positive for a virus and you are still okay. But the positive test shows that you've, you've been exposed to the virus. Okay. And it's established itself in your blood. Mm. And just like we've seen the literature, the virus is still being studied. Mm. But the current information shows that this is a virus that causes, most of the time, mild to moderate flu-like symptoms. Mm. So, as I speak to you, I have some uh, cold. Mm. So some with it will present like me, can do everything, but they have the virus in their blood. Okay. In a few people, you can have severe illness, and they will come with cough, they have maybe chest pain mm. and all that. Mm. All those who have had corona but didn't die, over 100,000 people, mm. recovered on their own immune system. Okay. So it's a self-limiting no, condition. No medication. No medi In fact, what we give is supportive treatment. Mm. So when the person comes, usually... As your body mounts defense against any organism, mm -hmm. temperature is one of the consequences. Your mm -hmm. temperature can rise. In fact, it's one of the byproducts. So a doctor on the emergency or at LECMA is going to give you antipyretics, drugs that bring the temperature down. Okay. So what we do is to look at the things that surround your immune as it builds, mm -hmm. it fights the condition. Mm -hmm. In fact, most of the time, there are three things we can, we can come in with. Something to bring down the temperature some oxygen okay. because your chest might not be working mm. well. Mm. And the third one, which I've been told, is to give you IV fluids. Okay. People, yeah, in fish. Because people who have chest symptoms lose a lot of fl um, uh, fluid. Okay. As they exhale and things, mm. they lose. Mm. So you have to give, hydrate them. With these three things, we allow you to buy time and build immunity against the, the condition. Okay. So um, these six cases, I'm happy that the contact tracing is picking contacts. Mm. All those who have been exposed, usually you also pick their samples mm. and then try to do the, the labs. And most of the time, the infection rate, I've said it for corona, is between about 8 to maximum 10%. Mm. So if 100 people are exposed to the virus, it's likely that about 7 to 10 will have it positive in their blood. Mm. And it doesn't mean even these 7 to 10 are ill and need attention. Okay. Yeah. The, the, the government has voted some hundred million yeah. uh, dollars. The conversation now is that, look, if I walk into a hospital yeah. and the doctor doesn't have, I'm reading here that they will be incentivized, but the doctor, the nurse, the orderly, they don't have a certain incentive. Yeah. They are not too sure if touch wood they are to perish in the face of coronavirus. Yeah. Their families will be taken care of. Yeah. They may all desert the hospitals and, yeah. and not... Yeah 
go for it. Uh, is that a concern that yeah. is part of the 100 million, for uh, example? Forgive me, but just before I mention, let me say that some of the measures, especially mentioned yesterday by the president, they are, the purpose of those measures is to slow down transmission, if any. Okay. So any group, any large group, the risk is higher mm. because uh, viruses move from one person to the other. Okay. And the closer the contact, the easier the transmission. Mm. In fact, when you separate people, the one having it builds immunity with time. Okay. And the virus will be operating in media okay. surfaces, okay. which is not human beings. Right. So with time, either it gets inactive or, or it's denatured. It, okay. Denatured means killed. Okay. So these are things to slow down mm. and reduce the risk okay. of transmission. And I'm happy what, what, what about those who will say, oh, look, we, we will do our meetings anyway? Well, 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 I think all you have to know is that the larger a group, the higher the risk. It doesn't mean automatically something will happen. Okay. So these are measures that must be mentioned. Okay. It's like a disclaimer on a tobacco stuff that it is harmful to your health. Okay. If you smoke it, at least you've been told. Mm. So let me come to yes, what uh, you mentioned. Incentivizing yeah. uh, these exactly. I think when we had Ebo sorry during the Ebola mm. um, 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 crisis, mm. those who were on the front line, they had some risk, um, some insurance and some risk allowances. Okay. So really, such a thing is in place. Uh, the details, how much each gets and all that, I've not been told. But okay. those who are undergoing training, such packages are made for them. And mm -hmm. what we must also understand is that the money that are voted for, it's not like in the U.S. when you hear $1 billion, it's been given to mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. It means that these are monies that have been set aside so okay. that... As you, uh, okay. Exactly. So uh, this morning, I did not been for some of the communication. Mm -hmm. I would have been at Lekma today. Okay. If I'd gone to Lekma and someone comes in with a cough, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be sitting like my with PPE okay. down, no. But it is when you fit the case definition. Okay. When you're risk, you are a suspect. Mm. So if you come in and tell me you went for goods in China two weeks ago and you are coughing and your temperature is high, I'll just alert the COVID team okay. and they'll bring me uh, my apron okay. so I can prepare and take care of you. But they should, should they not be there in the hospitals already? Yes, no, no, no. When I say the COVID team, Kolebu has a COVID team. Okay. Lekma has a COVID team. Okay. So I'll call the COVID team in the hospital okay. to give to me give you exactly. protective yes. clothing. Okay. Because someone with a fracture who comes to the trauma emergency unit, mm. he came with a fracture. But as you examine, his temperature can be high. Mm. Only to know that he's come from China two weeks ago. But he had an accident. In the trauma unit, it can be a suspect case. Okay. The point I'm making is that if you want us to prepare for everybody in code, mm. then all hospitals mm. and everybody mm. will be in a uh, gown and it's not done anywhere okay it is the suspect cases that you you prepare right. you count for could you step in for me now Th this is what we know we know that we have six confirmed cases and while something that we have been very covert with the kind of information we're giving to the public the president's pronouncement has come in good time and we should all follow it what do you what do you say well i i think that um I, I'm, I'm going to say this, and I say this tongue-in-cheek, that for the first time since 2017, mm. I have seen the kind of leadership that I was ex I've been expecting from the president of this country. For the first time? For the first time. Why do you say that? And it didn't, it didn't, it had to take coronavirus. You see, let, let me, let me, let me go back a little bit. <coughs> a few days ago, mm. look, I was on a, a program with one of your colleagues, a minister at that. And we're talking about coronavirus and the inception of this problem. Mm. And he said that we should be praying. Praying? Yeah. And that he went on to say that the president is building a national cathedral to the glory of God, so the virus won't come here. Which minister was this? I don't want to mention his name. He's not here to defend himself. So, but I think Dr. Kumbo knows who I'm talking about. <clears throat> and I was very upset with him because I made the point that this problem is in Italy. Italians, by definition, pray more than all of us because yeah. that's the home of modern Christianity as we know it. Right. At least, at the very least, the Pope operates from, from, from Italy. Mm -hmm. All the, the monasteries and the nunneries and the mm -hmm. abbeys, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, the St. Peter's Basilica. The, the, minister said, the minister said the president has, um, uh, is building a cathedral. So the, next, the very next day, 
it was announced that we had two cases. So let me say that the president didn't pray. When he wasn't praying, when he shut down mass gatherings. He wasn't praying when he asked schools not to go to, uh, not to open. Mm. He wasn't praying when he asked churches. Churches, the president was bold enough to tell churches not to congregate. I don't think all the pastors are very happy. Mm. But he did it anyway. It is that kind of leadership that has been missing in this country for a very long time and it didn't take, it didn't have to take coronavirus to come. We all know the worst kept secret in this country mm -hmm. is the Norwegian official a, a diplomat who has the coronavirus. It is all over the internet that certain government officials have had been hobnobbing with him in Norway. Have we been told whether those people pay what I am hearing from the illustrious doctor? Mm -hmm. have, have, have we been told that those people are even under self-quarantine? The Ghana has health services 14 days if you come from an infected well, I country. Don't know if you those, should self-quarantine I don't know yourself. if those people are. But I'm saying the worst kept secret in this country today is the Norwegian official, the, the Norwegian diplomat who has, the, who has the, the virus. So are the people who were in contact with that um, official mm. in Norway, in Accra, wherever it is, are they insane? Because I can name the government officials. It's not fair for me to name them. But they know themselves. So they I'm, should I'm, do us good by self I'm saying this. Suffering. And I'm saying this. This disease is a deadly disease. Mm. I'm not a doctor. I am hearing a few things from, from, from Dr. Koboy that are very encouraging. But there are other things I'm hearing that really, really, really put my antennas up. Like what? For example, mm. he is talking about people who have underlying issues. Mm. Underlying issues. Let me take myself as an example. I'm mm. diabetic. I'm hypertensive. Mm. So I am one of the people who should not be near any of these people. Right. You're more susceptible to it. I'm more susceptible. And if mm. you look, if you follow the trends of those who have been affected, and indeed those who have lost their lives, mm. it is the elderly, mostly people over 55. Mm. I haven't gotten there yet. But some of the underlying issues that they are talking about mm refer to people like me what education are we giving now the president has talked about social distancing mm. and in effect he has discouraged mass gatherings he has asked people to stop going to school mm. he has asked uh, people to stop going to church johnny the electoral commission is preparing to register re-register people on the 18th of this of april mm. We haven't heard from them. The, the, the president's statement is racist. We haven't, we haven't heard from them. Is the president's statement not racist? Does it not speak for itself? No, not at all. Because the president said four weeks. Mm. Four weeks begins, let's say today, mm. ends on the 16th of April. So are the Electoral Commission going to go ahead two days after what the president has said and go and ask people to basically uh, staccato like road, road signs and go and register anyway? The NIA, mm. are they still registering people mm. for the Ghana card? Mm. Mm. These are issues that need to be discussed. It needs, and I was expecting that, indeed, organizations like the Electoral Commission mm. should not have waited for the president. They should have gone ahead? Of course, because they know the risk. They sh by now, they should know the risk associated with people congregating all over this country for weeks on end. It's, it's a very, very serious issue. And mm. if I'm wrong, correct me. One of the reasons why we want to redo our electoral register is that we want to add facial recognition. So are we going to take our faces and go there and put our faces on whatever machine it is and go and re-register? Are we going to put our fingers on whatever machine it is and what after you put your fingers, a, 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 a bottle of um, disinfectant is going Some to be put over that machine? We should be hearing from the electorate. This is very, very, very important. Okay, let me ask, Doc. Uh, let, let, me just, let me just finish. 
I raised this issue and somebody said, well, then it means that maybe if we follow on um, come December, then we won't go and vote. And I said to the person that if coronavirus is what it is today, maybe that is what should happen. Because nobody should go and die because they went to vote. Yeah. But in the interim, that we are going to hold an important exercise like electoral register, we forget about the fact that we in the NDC are saying it's unnecessary. Okay. But now it has become an existential issue. It has become a health issue. Okay. Let us ask ourselves. So in the villages, and I know Dr. Koboy, one of the places he has worked, one of the things he has been known for mm. is working in villages. Yeah. So maybe he, should, he can tell us. How many people are going to be able, should, should that vertical, sorry, that horizontal, horizontal. transmission yeah. you are talking about indeed begin to happen? And it may happen. God forbid that it happens. How many people are going to be able to be saved in those villages. Okay. Don't don't worry about how I knew you worked in a village. Well, a very uh, um, good oh, friend he, of he mine. He has said it here. A very good friend of mine told me that that is one of his. Um, um, he likes to work in a village. One of his claim to fame. So the, the, the it's, it's, boy who likes to work for it's, villages. It's a that's, good thing. That's a good thing. So he's yeah. he's a board chair by dint of hard work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But let, let me let me yeah. let's stay on this one. Mister yeah. Chumwafu paints a certain picture. Yeah. You know, facial recognition. Yeah where sometimes you'd have to put your face in there and somebody the close proximity yeah. fingernails and all of that are we are we really at risk like that if well, we if we take that chance let me say that i'm happy that in such a situation uh, mr chubavo says that the president has acted yeah. and he said but it's the first time he's seen the situation yeah. because we are managing a public health measures i'm not going to that you let me stay yeah. with, no, with I'm, I'm just being honest. Yeah, oh, no, no, yesterday, that's, that's that's is, that's yesterday, is yesterday, of yesterday I saw the leadership that I wanted no, to no, see. No, and he I, wasn't afraid. No, no. He wasn't afraid to ban churches. No, no, uh, it's a very, very, very touchy issue. You know, uh, he wasn't afraid to offend the pastors. Uh, commendation for the president from Chumbafo. Mm. It's you know it's it's rare. But today night has come. I have to acknowledge you. Are taking it. Have you committed my cancer? You know, but by the way, for sake of education, if you are hypertensive or a diabetic, mm. it does not mean your immune is compromised. Okay. So, well, so what like, does it what does it mean then? Uh, yeah, but people with hypertension and diabetes who have complications. Okay. So you can have a hypertensive who has a heart problem. Okay. It's a complication as a result of the condition. Okay. No matter when you have a heart problem, it can affect your breathing and all that. Right. So if you get infected, your risk is high. But if your pancreas cannot generate insulin for your body and you have to inject it if you no. don't have it. Yeah, so then you, you put so your if your sugar is being mm -hmm. controlled mm -hmm. nicely and you don't have but we do labs to see your kidney function or that. Right. If you don't have, you are not being treated for kidney problem, but okay. just the diabetes and mm -hmm. well controlled. Mm -hmm. Usually, too, it's right. not that bad. Okay. But people with complications mm -hmm. can have uh, issues. Okay. Now, the, the, let's come to the EC. So, usually, I'm interested in old folks. Mm -hmm. You see, in the developed world, there are 80 year olds who are living on their own. They go mm -hmm. to the supermarket, they do everything. People in that bracket, usually, they are body function and everything although they are fine it's not like yours yes your kidneys you have about 30 40 percent of your kidneys functioning mm. at the age of 70 or 80 right. but it doesn't mean you have a kidney problem okay. so these are people that we normally encourage strongly in such mm. times mm. old folks above 65 70 to take extra care now with the ec you see when you the ec have spoken as of now yeah the answer is very simple every decision you take you see the president said now if you are coming from a country with more than 200 cases don't come in you, the advisory is as, as much as possible will not let you take you in. Yes. Yeah. Every decision you take must have a foundation. Okay. Because we've had six cases. Mm -hmm. There are six different point sources now. Point source means that a place that can start the spread. Okay. So when you take such a decision, mm -hmm. every diplomat in the world, every government appreciates why you have done that. Mm -hmm. So these decisions we've taken is based on what has happened up to now. Mm -hmm. Between now and the four weeks, if the situation is such that having people come together at uh, registration mm -hmm. centers and things poses a risk. Why not? We put human beings ahead of every other activity. He, he believes the AC should have spoken by now. No, no. That's why I said you don't. You also must be careful not to jump. You see, it's a fluid. The president addressed the nation the night before we had the two cases. Mm -hmm. So every day, anything can happen. So you all want to wait at a particular time, and based on what has happened, then you can make pronouncements. Mm -hmm. If you come and say that okay, no registration, and within the next four weeks. It is determined that, you see, every 
outbreak also has a curve. It follows a bell-shaped curve. Right. Mm -hmm. When you reach a peak, it means that's the highest number of cases mm -hmm. you've had. And mm -hmm. then it starts dropping. dropping. Okay. The Chinese president visited Wuhan. Mm -hmm. He didn't visit Wuhan when the curve, the cases were still rising. Okay. When they started dropping. dropping. Mm -hmm. So what, there's a point in the curve. Once you reach there, you can take some measures. He went there because the advice is that it's safe to go there mm -hmm. now. If it's safe for us to congregate, I believe that the EC will be giving professional advice. You know, this one is not about electoral matters. He has to get advice from the team right. that is working on right. the situation. And for me, the advice must uh, supersede every other consideration. Okay. Yes. I, I, I must place on record that, in fact, even before the president addressed the nation to say we should not congregate, TV3, you know, we were able to do a music music concert yes. for Optional King in yes. Tamale. Yes. Even this Saturday for music music, we didn't have a crowd yes. because we decided yes. not to do it. You see, so, 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 some of the steps or uh, some of the precautions, they are, there's a personal level, there's a community level, and there's a national level. Mm -hmm. So the ones, once you go to a place where people gather, risk is elevated from day one. But once the president or at the national level says that, like, don't congregate, it's more or less, it's like a fear, an instruction. Okay. And you want to have solid foundation to reach okay. that place. But from the first day, we had just one case. Mm. Anytime you avoid a gathering, you've reduced your, your risk. Your, 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 but you won't risk. sound information. So that when okay. you take such a, 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 a step, mm. you have... Do, do we have sound information on the no, Norwegian no, no. Norwegian no. official? Uh, and I've, I've seen the statements from... Yeah. Uh, the Jamaicans, for example, yeah. they will put out their name, yeah. their age, yeah. where they have been, yeah. they are tracking them. Yeah. We said that we're going yeah. to track yeah. who they have interacted yeah. with. We are hearing some school kids, a party, yeah, and plenty yeah. other things, in, other diplomats. In, Why are we not putting out the name? Yeah, so in, in, I know, for example, if it's touch with this Kojo that has it, and I've interacted with Kojo this morning, I would have to quickly yeah. go and check self quarantine yeah. myself. In, in public health, just like in any area of medicine, there are good standards which even if you are in Ghana, you aspire to um, practice or do. Mention the name of a, a person who's had any condition that is sensitive. When you say sensitive, can, uh, can draw stigma. Okay. You know, I mean, if, if the news goes that our co boy is positive for mm. corona, there are places that when they see me, they will start running. Right. So any condition that can bring stigma, stigma is people who act in an uninformed manner. Mm. The gold standard is that if you don't mention the name, it is allowed. Okay. But in practicing public health, Anyone who's had contact with the person, mm -hmm. you must disclose. So all this contact tracing they've done, the 105 since now, right. they've all been told okay. that this person you interacted with okay. has, has uh, corona okay. so that they can take precautionary measures at their level. Okay. That one you have to do, mm. and Ghana has done it. Mm. But what you don't do is come and tell us that two of the cases stay at Obosokai. Mm. In fact, for the next three, four weeks, if you are not careful, nobody will step anywhere near there. So the point I'm making is that you must be honest with the contact trace, mm. all those you've identified, every person is. Is it told. possible to identify everybody but, you have but, contacted? But, but Doc, yeah. Doc, um, the health minister of the United Kingdom didn't hide when she got it. Yeah. The wife of the Canadian Prime Minister mm. didn't hide when yeah. she got mm. it. The wife of Trudeau. the Spanish Prime Minister mm. has got it. Nobody, they didn't hide. Yeah, I'm explaining that they didn't hide. What they've done is not wrong, but we have what we call the gold standard. Gold standard means that that one, in best practice, you must do it, but in public health. You have to mention, like, you see they give some details of ours. Mm. A student, mm. Can I, mm. you give information. But to give it to the point where it can be said that it's Johnny, that one, in every public health practice across the world, it is not one that you are forced to do. Mm. But look, I, I, I did my some course in South Africa. My lecture, the first day he appeared, he said, I'm HIV positive for the past 25 years. I've lived with it. I'm a campaigner. It's not wrong to do that. But it is against the rules for a doctor to, for me to tell this okay. my patient okay. is HIV positive. Right. If they decide mm. to go on a time, and people do it, it's commendable. They do it to bring down fear, assure okay. people that, look, people think if you have corona, you're dying. The end of the world. Exactly. Mm. Corona, if you are positive for corona. In fact, not all the people who have tested positive. Have died, yeah. I said that here. In fact, get it. even the six who have been confirmed. It's not that they are all ill on a, on a bed. Some are more active than us this morning. So the point is that testing positive only shows that you've come into contact with the virus. Okay. And you might have a flu-like symptom or nothing at all. Okay. But So a positive test is mm. not equivalent to a okay. clinical symptom. Let, let, let's but uh, my journey, so the point is that all the things we are doing, mm. there, there are people you must tell we okay. are doing that. Okay. Contact tracing. And you ask whether you can contact or mm. you contact as much as what? Possible. possible. So you, you keep on following the trail until there's no one to follow. 
there's no assurance that you get every person the fellow has come into contact. But okay. you do a lot of questions. There's, there's a question that's, uh, okay, so I am the infected person. Yes. I have come in contact with Kojo. Yeah. Kojo has come in contact with you. Yeah. But in your check-in, you check just Kojo. Yeah. Are you also going to contact the third and fourth line of people they, they, they might have well, interacted well, with? So what I will say simply... Because if there's a minister, yeah. the minister has a PA, yeah. the PA has family, the yeah. family has friends, yeah. uh, chief director is there. Well, what, what I will say simply is that as you go down further, go down the chain, the risk of transmission keeps on dropping. Okay. So if I get it and I'm positive, then mm -hmm. I meet Koto. His risk of picking it is about, let's say, 10%. That means that when I interact with 100 people, out of the 100, about 10 maximum will be positive. Mm. The 90 wouldn't be positive. It means their body system, mm. the virus couldn't break the barrier to enter them for them to be positive. Now, these 10, mm. if they also, uh, let's say, the 100 have met, mm. if they meet another 100, their risk further drops. Okay. So anytime you trip, you go on the chain, the infection rate drops. Okay. That's why, even if you don't follow to the, the third, fourth contact, mm. your assumption is that their risk is lower. And all is about risk. You mm. cannot have absolute hold on everything. But the interesting thing I tell people is that this is self-limiting condition. Self-limiting means that your body is the cure. Okay. Is your immune system. And remember, one of the advice is have enough rest, mm. eat well. Mm. This is not a time to be doing things that will increase your stress and reduce your immune system. Like what? Oh, having side if chicks. You have, if you have an having side chicks that will give you pressure. Oh, <laughs> anything that will not let you sleep well. If you are, If you are... Uh, the one you mentioned, I don't mention it. It's making you not sleep well. You are waiting, sleeping at 1 a.m. Broke your heart. Uh, broke your heart also is a risk factor. <laughs> you know, anything yeah. that drops the your immune system. is if it be it at all possible. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, but Johnny, you know, in such times, mm. this is a time also to um, um, sim not sympathize, but to um, um, have some. What's the name? Is it love for people who empathy. are known Im empathy mm -hmm. for immunocompromised people? Okay. There are conditions that come automatically with immune right. uh, reduced immune okay. capacity. Okay. Retro HIV mm -hmm. is the term. Mm -hmm. So this advice is straight to anyone who has TB, okay. anyone who had HIV, mm -hmm. anyone who have a kidney mm -hmm. uh, problem, mm -hmm. anyone who have a liver problem. Okay. These are organs that help your immune to stand. Okay. In fact, there are some blood disorders also. If you are a known case, as for you, your precautionary measures must be extreme. Okay. In fact, you can even avoid work. You must get a letter from mm -hmm. your physician mm -hmm. and avoid because you already you are a known immunocompromised person. Right. So this one is important. Okay, could you the the issue of sanitizers? I've I've done a few checks over the weekend. People are profiteering on sanitizers. It's a shame. I I, I don't know what your well, thoughts are about demand, it. It's but a demand and supply situation. Market what, forces. What, yes, market forces. What are you going to do? We have 100 million. Should we use some to buy sanitizers um, and distribute? Well, first of all, I am not a convert when it comes to that 100 million because uh, Dr. Okoboy made uh, an admission here that it's something that is just a, a, a paper suggestion. Okay. Uh, as and when you as and it. when it's needed. It's, it's a figure that was obloviated um, because I don't know where that advice Actually, came because from. Of the, for, for, because of the way headlines go sometimes, mm. people's suggestion is it? Okay. I said that you are not giving... No, no, I understand you. That is what I gathered. That is what I gathered that is what I gathered from okay. what was said. Right. Because we all know that in this country we haven't been able to uh, cure our little children who have um, malaria, mm. right? If we had 100 million available, we'd have done that. There, as I speak to you, there are mothers. Some of our mothers are on the floor in Kolebu. Mm. We haven't been able to remove them from there because we don't even have money. CSM is in Upper West. Exactly. Mm. But I want to I want to quickly pivot back to something that you said. Mm -hmm. When you said that TV3 cancelled some programs, yes, it was yeah, doing. I know there are some schools who cancelled programs, mm. uh, who cancelled school even mm. before the mm. president spoke. Mm. So you were ahead of the curve. Some organizations have been ahead of the curve. I saw um, uh, um, churches like Prophet T.D. Jakes mm. Mm. asking his followers not to come to church way ahead, ahead of, of this thing mm. becoming a. I'm saying that. Some organizations, and I'm going back to the Electoral Commission, mm. should be ahead of the curve on this matter. Because if you don't say anything, 
because you are waiting, like like Dr. Koboy said, uh, for some stochastic a, relief. A, a foundation. Uh, it, what Dr. Koboy was discussing is a stochastic relief, a mm. bell curve, right. so that you know that at a certain point in time the disease would have. But that is not well because, like he said, alluded earlier on, if that horizontal, God forbid, mm. if it begins to happen, we are in trouble. It has, you know. Uh, uh, um, uh, I'm not a doctor, but I've been following this thing. Mm -hmm. In certain countries, it has been killing more people. Right. And I am very sure, it, and I'm almost certain, without any equivocation, that it's because of cultural practices. Mm. For example, the Chinese decided to shut down the whole of Wuhan. What happened in Italy? In Italy, the statistics are staggering. It has killed 9% of the people who have contracted the disease. Whereas in the United States is 2.5 percent. What is the what is the issue there? It's cultural practices. Mm -hmm. So I would prefer that every organization that deals with people mm -hmm. or that has an intention to deal with people is ahead of the curve on this matter. Don't sit there and wait for the, the stochastic relief that some people think they are wasting. We are waiting for sanitizers. But let me go back to the sanitizer <laughs> yes. issue. Mm -hmm. It's a question of demand and supply. Right now, who, if somebody went to buy a container of, of sanitizer mm. and he was going to come and distribute it, given the fact that um, there's downtime with people who import products and mm. he's going to distribute mm. it and go around and beg collecting this money and they, uh, we have the money and we don't have it and they're taking it around supermarkets, mm. the person can hold the sanitizer and say, come and get me. Because now you need it. it it's, it, it's not my preferred option mm. but hey i don't make their money for them so it is it is up to the government mm. to make sure that all these things are available as we speak mm. i think that there should be some very quick action mm. to get as much sanitizer into this country mm. or whatever it takes but but don't forget that all over the world sanitizer is a premium now right the people who manufacture some sanitizers are, are very rich as we speak mm. even toilet roll is a premium right you know I went to my one of my, my, well, let me just say my favorite supermarket on Saturday evening. And I think those people who go to that supermarket know what I'm talking about. To look for bread. Mm. About 6 p.m. there was no bread. 6 nothing. p.m.? 6 p.m. Nothing. No bread? None. Zero. Sunday morning by 3 p.m. That particular shop. Then, and they normally have it all over. So when it comes to situations like this mm. people would definitely go and panic buy you can't do anything about it it's just it's just the way of the world okay right now as we speak mm. you go to sh big i mean <laughs> the united states go to big shops like the bjs mm. and the cvs's of this world there's nothing there hmm. look nothing why why four weeks though i'm, I'm thinking yeah. why why four weeks are we expecting that by four weeks the situation will be doused or yeah. Or within four exactly. weeks, we will have done our kev. Why? I think it's important also to mention that, the, like I said, the money. If you go to the US and the UK, they have other medical issues they are dealing with. Okay. But anytime there's a public health emergency, it's the general rule. Mm. It's like you make, you prioritize. Okay. So this money has been made available because mm. it is a public health emergency. It mm. qualifies as, as such. Okay. And um, uh, I just mentioned this because some people think when they say $100 million, they call the minister and say, take the money. Take the money okay. As you make the applications, the money is freed and given okay. to you. Now, what is also refreshing is that Ghana has been quick at diagnosis. Okay. It's one of the indicators of preparation. Noguchi. Yes. You know the case in Obuasi and the students who came, mm. it could have been missed at other places. Missed means that you did not even think Corona. Okay. If you prepare well, it makes almost every frontline health person but, but where you have to bring all the samples to a crowd to test. That's, no, no, I, I mean, that, I mean that's, that's a big problem. The, the tests that have been done are not, we have great levels of mm. uh, tests. There are some tests, in fact, even in the states, you take it to Center for Disease Control. Okay. Even at, after you test mm. you have to take but it there. Abenka says we have some facilities around the country that, that can be activated. Oh, it's, it's always good. So if why I, are we not activating it? No, no, it? Johnny. These conditions, like I said, there are some conditions that even if you test at your level, it still must go to the top for confirmation okay, to check. because okay. some strict standards must be adhered to right. because a positive um, response mm. or a positive test has far-reaching uh, consequences. Okay. So you will not be allowed in your own domain to say, I have done it, it's positive. Okay. Now, so why, why so, four weeks? Um, it's, 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 um, 
it's a period, a lot of things, like I said, it's a, it's a cycle. Mm. And every uh, viral outbreak has a curve it follows. Mm. You want to monitor, do analysis, mm. and be able to know where you are on the curve. Mm -hmm. And that is also a uh, very important thing. One thing people have not talked about or considered is the fact that these six people have not been flown back to Europe for treatment. We've kept them here. They are being managed by Ghanaian uh, medical professionals. Um, no. Kofi, Kofi Bento made something very interesting. Mm. Elif is watching. Mm. <laughs> I thought it was very funny. He said, for the first time in the history of this country, you, you cannot be sick and go anywhere. <laughs> because the sickness, if, if you get the sickness here, nobody wants you where you want to go. <laughs> so, to be in your home so, so it tells us that we have to build equip our, our hospital, the mm. capacity yeah. of our hospitals yeah. to take care of incidental yeah. issues like this. Are the PPEs available? You know, I'll come, you know, in the beginning, mm. people expressed fears as if once one corona case drops here. It's a doomsday scenario. But I'm reminding Ghanaians that these people are being taken care of by Ghana officials who've received training. Training has been done in most frontline centers. Mm -hmm. I admit, it's not every part of Ghana, okay. but you scale down just like they are doing in the US. Okay. And Johnny, one final thing is that the cure for corona is your immune system. Okay. Anyone who's had corona and did not perish, the immune system fought it. Fought it back. Okay. This four months to allows people- for four weeks. Sorry, four weeks, allows people who have the virus to build immunity. Mm. Now, when they build immunity, their risk of transmission um, tippers that it goes okay. down. Okay. So I think these four weeks, we 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 are positive that the, the those managing the situation will continue. Like the president said, as for a public health emergency, nothing comes ahead of it. Okay. If we have to even find one billion dollars, mm. Ghanaians must stay alive. The, first, the we'll results fair that was organized in um, KNUST, Dr. Baumia addressed, stated somewhere in it that. Um, some uh, is being delivered that yeah. some e-learning platform yeah. has been achieved yeah. and yeah. and all of that now the president is directing the communications ministry and education ministry to collaborate to yeah. do distant learning how do people assess this it's been achieved we have yeah. been told yeah. but do we have where's the platform because I, I don't know I, where the platform I think is they say necessity is the mother of all inventions mm -hmm. we've had um the e-learning platforms mm -hmm. but i believe strongly that it's not, let's say, every home or every student who's either come into contact with this or applied and um, use the application. In such times, I'm sure there will be either scaling up or there will be widespread uh, what it, encouragement to use it. Mm -hmm. I think that's what the president uh, mentioned, that we should go that channel. I know it's in existence. The scaling, the, mm -hmm. the, the level, I can't speak to. Okay. But these are times that would work on such things to perfect it. Okay, let's go to it. Um, welcome back. And, uh, a let's, lot of messages what you're coming in this WhatsApp. morning, and most of them, you know, have to do with uh, the coronavirus. I think the preparation towards coronavirus is uh, being done at the bigger hospitals because none of the health centers and some hospitals have uh, access to the PPEs, not even those marks are the northern regions. Mm. Are we safe, the health workers? I mean, good morning, Johnny. Please ask doctor that what are they doing for people living around Chirponi, Tatale, Mpugu, and so on, because Ghana is not only Accra and Kumasi, and I can also tell you that no education or sensitization is going on around these, these places. Banning public gatherings and closing down schools is a good move in the right direction, but we expect that the PPEs should be provided to the hospitals and the general public with immediate effect, just as the directives given by the president. It is better to walk the talk than doing the talking. Abdul Momin from Tamale. Uh, hi, Johnny. I really like what the president did yesterday. He has taken a bold step by closing down schools and more, especially churches. Let's all endeavor to do the necessary things that need to be done. I'm Matthew Ahato from Kaswa. One, I disagree with Dr. Sarkoje. One, to the best of my knowledge, a test could prove positive just a few minutes or hours after infection. So why can't you immediately test those contacts than monitoring them for visible signs and symptoms, which would develop days after? What is, in particular, are those immediate health officials doing to monitor uh, thank you, Joe Kanishi. My name is Akwe Isaac, speaking from UENR. My point of view on your discussion is that I think this decision had come too early. If care is not taken, the economy could crash down. Take this from me. This one says the taps are not flowing. And you, are, you people are saying we should wash our hands hmm. under running water. Is it in the river or stream? Oh, Sit up, Mr. President. 
Nick from Osu. I see a lot of foreigners at the Aplau border these days. Are we safe? Are they coming into Ghana through Togo? Kindly tell government to resource our entry points and hospitals in the border towns, including the Aplau Municipal Hospital. This is from Lucas Aplau. Good morning, TV3. All embassies are closing. Churches, schools. I ask what happens to the nurse in the village, especially mm. with no PPEs, no motivation. We need answers. This one says schools closed down. Compilation of new voters register continues. Is this rocket science or there's something I'm missing? Anyway, discerning minds will appreciate the stance of the NDC. God bless Ghana. This is from Ndamba uh, from yes, Yagaba. Good morning, Johnny, and uh, to your cherished viewers. When did they show the signs of the virus and how long have they been staying in Ghana? our motherland. We need public awareness, although the MPP led by President Ekufuado is not showing any commitment to fight the epidemic. Let's all be careful to enable us live long to sack this incompetent MPP government in December elections. Good morning to your viewers. Closing down schools and gatherings is a good move by His Excellency, but what of our market center, uh, centers? Greetings to the CEO of NAPCO, Dr. Barry Hammer, who doubles as Charlie, a go, PC go. for Tamale Central. Yeah, okay, Good morning, yes. Johnny. I'm I still guess. not surprised. All these viruses came through our borders, yet it's still not shut down, especially the airport. It's too late. Why wait till evening? We will hear another case. Uh, this is from Osman in Tamale. Good morning, TV3. I'm in love with Doctor. He's very honest, objective about his submission, irrespective of his political uh, paraphernalia. I really admire him and would like to have his number. Uh, okay, he has provided his name. Good morning. The fight against COVID-19 is still in progress, and all Ghanaians must come on board to fight the dreadful disease and, if possible, eliminate it completely. The range at which uh, the virus spread is baffling. Uh, the rate at which the virus is spreading is baffling. So health experts and individuals should help sensitize the general public on the preventive measures adopted by government to combat the situation. This is from Uti Monko. We'll read more of your messages uh, during the program as we discuss this further. So that's where we end uh, with, the, with the messages this morning. You know we're in full season. So um, what, what will be the difference between somebody who is showing signs of flu and somebody who is showing signs of COVID-19? So I think the best thing will be the travel history. Mm. You rely a lot on the travel history because, in fact, when you look at the case definition that WHO has given, you should have been to a country that has had cases, okay. like China, Italy, the US, mm. have flu symptoms and have high temperature. Okay. But one other thing too that you observe is that most of the common viruses mm. that mm. cause flu-like symptoms in a, a healthy individual, mm. they should not be too protracted okay. or it should not be severe. Okay. So when you see severity, even without a travel history, you can it could think be, it could be horizontal. That yes, you got yes, you can think. Okay. You can think that and ask for the it's test. The okay. horizontal that I worry about. Yeah, yeah. we are all we worried about. about it. Even the, the ministers in Europe the last time mm. met at Brussels and told themselves that you can't stop COVID nineteen from coming to your country because you can't lock, you can't isolate right, your country right, from the world. Right. But you have to slow down mm. or take away mm. the horizontal transmission, but, and that but, is what we are trying okay. to. I yeah. think you should also advise the Speaker of Parliament to shut down Parliament uh, that one for the I, time being. I, I don't have. I think you. I, I, I said I advise him. Uh, advise uh, him. Uh, uh, you are you are a medical doctor. Uh, uh, you are a member of Parliament. I think you we'll have, have a chat. you have a. He's a uh, senior presecond to him. No, no, not only that, but he didn't go to the right school. So I've gone to Achimata School. <laughs> he, he should he should be asking yeah, uh, his colleagues in Parliament. Yeah. <laughs> to follow what the president no, said. Because, yes, because that chamber yeah. is, is, a, is, a, is a den for spreading that thing horizontally, yeah. especially for those who have been in contact with that Norwegian diplomat, and some of them are in the chamber. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Dr. Bernard Okuboy is a member of parliament for the Lejokuku constituency. They call him Lejokuku JZ. He is also the <laughs> board chairman for the Kolebu Teaching Hospital, and uh, his, his primary is set for... To know him more about the work he's done in the village, <laughs> not his uh, rock star <laughs> status. April, April 25 <laughs> is when his primaries is due. I wish him well, and I hope that 
he comes up he has victorious. disqualified all his competition and uh, and, uh, <laughs> did you hear and, uh, so people have been disqualified in good and uh, <laughs> has a lot of information about this norwegian that we are all looking for uh, uh, we're looking for who it is Kujo, thank you very much for thank your time you and thank you, uh, okay, boy, thank you. we'll see you after